flight of the tiny RoboFly, world's smallest drone weighs less than a gram, and navigates using light-sensitive eyes from large military manned aircraft to cheap and cheerful quadcopters, drones are becoming increasingly diverse. Now, a robot the size of a fly is set to become the world's smallest. The RoboFly has a carbon fiber body weighing just 106 mg a fraction of a gram and a pair of flapping wings powered by electronic muscles. While it may be small, it could prove mighty useful, as it is designed to be used in search and rescue operations, because it can squeeze through tiny spaces and collapsed rubble. The diminutive drone could also be used to monitor environmental conditions and even pollinate crops in the future. It is powered and controlled using a lightweight tether wire, and can perform agile maneuvers like insects. The drone finds its balance in the air thanks to a pyramid-shaped light sensor on top of its head. And it is the first time the technology has been used in a machine so small. Past models have required external cameras to perform corrective maneuvers. The Harvard University scientists behind the drone were inspired by insects which keep their balance by solely relying just on their onboard senses. They base their drone on light-sensitive eyes called ocelli found in bees, flies and other insects, which have a single lens like ours. The three ocelli, which is Latin for little eyes, are on the top of the head and separate from the insects. Compound eyes at the side. They can see color, and are used for navigation and maintaining stability in flight. In the drone, the Ocelli design consists of four phototransistors soldered to a custom-built circuit board that is folded into a pyramid, according to the Journal of the Royal Society interface. The scientists attached their mechanical Ocelli to the drone for balance, which in an experiment, remained upright for a 0.3 second climbing phase, which equates to 40 wing stokes. In this work, we showed how an Ocelli-inspired vision sensor can be used to stabilize the upright orientation of a fly-sized flying robot. Although a number of sensors have been proposed that could, in principle, be integrated into such a vehicle, few have been operated on a fly-sized robot, and none have previously performed in free flight. Hence, these results constitute the first demonstration of onboard sensors in free flight at this scale. In a few years it is hoped that the RoboFly will be fully wireless, enabling it one day to even be used to pollinate crops, which is especially important, as honeybee populations are struggling around the world. In the meantime, Dr. Fuller and colleagues hope to use their contraption to learn more about how insects fly. Flying robots on the scale of an inspired by flies may provide insights into the mechanisms used by their biological counterparts. He said.